Hi guys, my name is Jen. I am super excited. Christmas is literally tomorrow and I'm running out of gift ideas and I have some extra people that are coming that I really had no idea were coming. So I'm using my new HTV Ront heat press. I absolutely, absolutely love it. I cannot talk about it enough. You can see my old one sitting here. I'm not getting rid of it with all the stuff on top of it, but this is absolutely amazing. In today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to make last minute Christmas gifts very, very quick and easy. And I'm also gonna talk about my new heat press here. So let's get started. Crafters, it's Jen from My Cray Crafts. I'm going to be showing you really quickly how to create these little hot pads. I have a few images here. I'm going to get rid of this one here, but I wanted to show you exactly how to do this from start to finish. Starting in Design Space, I'm going to go to Upload. I actually just bought these images from Design Bundles. Um, really great ones here. So I'm going to find one down here at the bottom where it says Grandma's Kitchen. So I am literally at the last minute of making stuff. I have somebody coming tomorrow that um, I need to get a gift for. So I'm gonna make this. I'm gonna click to add to canvas and then I'm gonna click view and we're gonna see what it looks like here. I have a couple of them because I accidentally pushed it twice. So taking this very, very simple, you can do this in Canva, you can do this in Design Space, in uh, Inkscape, anything you want, anywhere to print anything um, on your printer. So basically the only thing I have to do is change the width and the height and then flatten this to print then cut. So what I wanna do is unlock it up here at the top and make it to whatever size I need it to be. So I am putting one of these images on a dollar store heat pad and then I'm putting another one on a um, flower towel so they are not going to be permanent I will tell you now uh, if you are using um, anything that is cotton the flower towel is cotton so these are the towels are going to be just for decoration purposes only so you got to make sure you tell people that if you're doing that otherwise if you put it on you know I think it's 50 50 or 50 40 um, something that has polyester in it will work a lot better please do some research on that before you go ahead and do this but if you're looking for a last minute Christmas craft uh, gift this would be something to do so as you can see this one looks different from this one because this one is already flattened so I have it at the width and height that I want now I'm gonna go down here and flatten it and you will see it's gonna change color a little bit so if you guys saw that um, so there it is just like that I want it just as large as this uh, don't really want to do anything else to it so I'm gonna go ahead and make it like I said you can do this in can Canva you can do it in Inkscape whatever you have to be able to print something because I actually don't put this in my Cricut these lines around here are for the Cricut machine to cut it out, but it just saves me time by actually just taking the scissors and cutting it out myself. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. The last thing you wanna do on here is just mirror your image because when you're putting anything heat related, you wanna have it flipped. So I'm gonna do just that. So I'm just gonna, what I did before is move a little space right here just so I can get my scissors in between here. I'm going to go to continue. I'm gonna send it to my printer and this is going to give me a little preview of what it's going to look like. And um, I have a couple of printers over here, so I need to make sure I send it to my correct one. I actually have the Epson. I'm going to look the EcoTank 2803. Um, that's just the one that I picked up recently. It works really, really well. You can use whatever you want, but I changed it from being a regular printer to a subbing print printer. Uh, so make sure that if you are going to be using this and you're new to this, check out what that means. You cannot use just a regular printer. You have to have uh, subbing ink in it. I'm sorry, you can use the actual printer, but you need to put sublimation ink into it. So I went ahead of myself right here. So this was on Ad Bleed. I take that off um, I just think it makes it look a little bit better it doesn't give it like a little uh, shadow to it or anything so I'm gonna go ahead and print this out and I'm gonna show you the next step I'm actually so excited I actually have a new heat press I'm excited to tell you guys about you guys can hear it it's printing right now so I'm gonna go ahead and set up my um, heat press really quick and then I'll come back and show you what it looks like all right so you saw me how I printed this off on Cricut with my um, Epson eco tank uh, this is what it looks like so so instead of using the Cricut and having the Cricut cut it out, that's what the lines are here for, I'm just going to take a scissors really quick and I'm going to cut off the black edges on the side just because whatever color's on here is what you are going to see. I'm telling you this is a fast and easy Christmas present. Last minute works really, really amazing. 
So I'm just going to take that and then cut this in half since I have two of them. And I'm going to be putting it onto just a dollar store little oven mitt. And then I also have these tea um, flower sacks here. I'm not going to really do much with it. You could press it. You can make it look really neat. But I kind of like it that it's, you know, not too flat, doesn't look too good. Because then people know it's actually you handmade it. So they're going to turn out like this, just like that. And the only thing I did really to it is I put these on. So you could take your time and you could find the exact spot on here. You can use your heat tape and you can put it on. But basically all I do is find where the center is on here. And I'm just going to lay it down. And like if I was going to sell this or something, I would go ahead and put the heat tape all around it. Make sure it would stay in one spot. I'm just going to leave it like that. Same thing with this. So it's backwards. This says Grandma's Kitchen on it. I want them to match. So just with the tape bag here I have. I'm just taking it and laying it where I think I should put it. Then I'm going to take my Teflon sheet here and I'm going to cover up my image. Oh my gosh, I only have been using this heat press for a little bit, but don't mind the mess. I'm kind of putting stuff on it. This is my old heat press. For the last two and a half years, I would talk about this heat press, how much I love it. I still love it. It's not going anywhere, but this is the new one from HTV Ront. It is absolutely awesome. I'm going to show you a little bit more about it after this is done. So I'm going to put this Teflon sheet over this. And look at this. All I have to do is close it. That's it. This one I'd have to hold, push down, figure out the temp and the time. Or fig I shouldn't say that. I should, you should know the temp and the time. The thing with this old one is you needed to figure out the pressure on it. With this new one here, this HTV Rent one, does it all for you. It's absolutely amazing. So I have it set at 410 degrees for 25 seconds. These buttons up here are so very easy to figure out. I swear to God, this machine is so amazing. So it's in here, right? All I got to do is push a button. It's lowering it for me. It's checking out whatever pressure it needs, and that is it. That's all I have to do. Just push the button, watch the time go down. So I have it set at 410 degrees. I was kind of um, going on these, so here's one here. And I made a few other ones, and they didn't turn out as well because I didn't have enough heat on it. So you need to make sure that you have the correct heat settings. I don't know if this shows up on camera, but this one is definitely a lot more vibrant. Okay, so it's done. It automatically lifts it for you. Don't have to do anything. All you gotta do is pull this out. Get my Teflon sheet here. Grab my piece. This is done. You don't need this anymore. And then grab the other one. Again, done. Can't use it anymore. Here you go. Look at that. Grandma's Kitchen for Christmas Baking. So they will go together just like this. You can use any towels. And this is actually 100% cotton. So when you do wash it, this will come off. So you want to tell people this is just for decoration. And obviously these you don't really wash. But if you have to, the ink will come off of here because it is subbed on here. But look at how amazing this is. This is a great little gift. You could fill it up with dollar store stuff even more. Get the little bags of cookie mix that goes in here. The little whisk that goes in it. But there, bam, done. I probably spent $3 on this whole thing, and then by the time I put the mix in it and the whisk in it, I might spend $5.50 on the whole thing. Somebody's going to love it and really enjoy it. So there it is, just like that. I'm going to be doing a whole bunch of more subbing stuff on here, but again, this is from HTV Ront. It is so awesome. Like I said, here's the pad that it comes with. You push it in, you push the button on there, and it automatically tells you the pressure that you need. Don't have to do anything with it. Open it back up, and that is it. I'm going to be talking about this a lot more on my channel, so stay tuned. But just really quick, nice, easy Christmas present if you have this stuff laying around. A lot of fun to create. Happy holidays, everybody. Hope you like this tutorial. Give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you're not already.